Hi, this is Deb from CraftyDeb.com and today I'm going to show you how to embroider the face on the sheep afghan. Okay, first off, we're going to start off with the, the head applique piece and we're going to make sure the tail is up on the top. Now, you're just going to count three rounds up. One, two, three. And we're going to insert our needle that's already been threaded with about a foot and a half of black yarn. That's more than enough to do this one and another one. I like to leave about two inches on the back for tying off later. So we've gone ahead and gone one, two, three, and three rows up, inserted the needle up through there, and we're going to count two rounds up, one, two, and we're going to put the needle back in and go through to the back. Now from here we're going to count two stitches over on that same round, so it's one, two, and we're going to insert the needle from the back to the front, pull it through, and then go back to the center again. And we're going to repeat for the other side. So that'd be one and two. Go through and back. And that gives us our little nose. Now I'm going to cut this off in the back, but I'm not going to tie it off just yet, just to make sure our eyes are going to come out. And I'll show you why. Okay, now the eyes, we're going to count in that same round, one, two. We're going to insert the needle from back to front. And then we're going to go one stitch kind of up and over and through, and the same on this side. Okay, now that came out kind of cute, like a little V. We're going to snip off the back here leaving again about two inches for tying off and we're going to repeat for the other side. I'm going to go up one, two, insert from the back to the front, up and over one, and then go across. Now as you can see our sheep has got one sleepy eye and one happy eye, I guess you could say. And that's all because of where we have the mouthpiece. Because of the way the increases go in the rounds, this could happen. Which is also why we didn't, we didn't tie these off yet. So we're just going to go ahead and remove them. And we're going to fix it. So that's one eye. We can use that same piece. And take our mouth out. And then the last eye. Now you see on this gray one I did, the eyes are more straight and sleepy. And that's the look that I'm trying to get for this one. This was our mouthpiece. Nope, this one was our mouthpiece. It's a little longer. And you can see how the yarn is a little bit off to the side on the top, and that's okay still because that's we're going to cover that up when we sew on the head, the hair piece. So we're going to go one, two, three. And then over two. Whoops. Sorry about that. I was skipping a step. One, two, three, up. And then we're going to go up two. We can't forget to skip. You know, we don't want to skip that. Over two, and then down. Okay. And now this is something else that could go wrong. As you can see, this is kind of going off to the side. It needed to come into here. And I know it seems a little fidgety. But once you learn where to put the needle, and I'm kind of messing up a little bit on purpose just so you can see what, you know, how to fix it. Okay, that's looking good. And then let's get our eyes into I'm going to go up two from the back.
Okay, we have a nice sleepy eye there. I need to re-thread this guy. And let's go up the two, over, There we go, we got a nice sleepy sheep. So now we can go ahead and tie off our knots. All these knots will get covered up in the back when you sew the head applique piece onto the sheep blanket square. And we'll trim those down as well. So I guess the word to the wise is, don't knot them off quite yet. I know it's, it's all exciting, you want to get it done, but just wait a moment or two and make sure your applique is done the way you want it, your, I'm sorry, your embroidery is done the way you want it to be. Now you can do this any way you want, but this is just the way that I chose to do it.